This is one of my favorite stories in the Old Testament. Our very own Lesson 17 today, Parting of the Red Sea. You know, God led the people around by the way of the wilderness toward the Red Sea on purpose. He had a plan. And when Pharaoh realized that the Israelites were gone and that his slave labor pool had vanished, his heart was hardened and he sent an army after those people. Well, the, the Israelites became very afraid. Uh, they were threatened by the army that they saw coming after him, and they began to grumble. So they hadn't uh, been taken out of slavery no time, and they were already grumbling toward Moses. You know, why didn't you just leave us in Egypt if we were going to suffer like this? So here they are at the brink of a miracle. Uh, they're at the, this body of water, and all of a sudden, you know, Moses tells them, fear not, stand firm, because the salvation of the Lord is at hand. Moses lifted up his staff, and the waters of the Red Sea separated, leaving the two walls of water uh, intact, and the ground was dry so that the people could cross over onto dry land. They all crossed over, and the Egyptian armies were coming leaps and bounds, hurriedly after them, came into the same channel of dry land, and all of a sudden, God in his ultimate power over all creation causes the waters to come together to cover up the army. All of the men, all of the horses, they were drowned. God provided protection for the Israelites. So the Israelites continued to be led by a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire through their wilderness experience. They stayed in the presence of God all the time. And during the time uh, that they were in the wilderness, God fed them. He fed them with manna. This is an amazing point, boys and girls. He gave them just enough, just what they needed for one day. They were fed on a daily basis. I thought that was very interesting, and we'll talk more about that as time goes on. He also provided quail and water when they began to whine and complain because all they had was manna. But in spite of that, the people, uh, they still grumbled, just like we grumble today. We never look at our blessings, and we never worship God truly the way he should be worshiped. I'll see you next time. And we'll talk a little bit about why God had to give us the Ten Commandments. We needed some rules to live by. See you then.